Okay guys, been a while. Um, what I have here is pretty interesting. Um, this right here is extended TI basic. Uh, this one is extended basic. This one is um, RxB 2020. This is RxB 2021. Um, I won't start the game over again. I guess I can, but I guess it's not going to matter. Anyways, let's show you something right here. This is in a game. I just wanted to show you this. It's rolling dice. Okay, see? Cross your fingers, new shooter. Simple game. It rolls, it puts the dice up. See? Okay, you just keep rolling. It's a simple game. You notice one thing, the dice are full dice. They don't fall apart or uh, get uh, overrun. This is because, see this line right here where that 10 is? This has to do with uh, TI Basic has a different scroll routine than Extended Basic does. And because it's a different scroll, you get a different response. So let's I'll show you over here. This is Extended Basic. You notice how it cut off? That's because the uh, print or the scroll command in Extended Basic is not the same as in TI Basic. This is the reason why you get this response. So there are some games in Extended Basic that just don't work out right in TI Basic. They're written in TI Basic, but they don't come out right. See, that's what you're getting. Now RxB 2020 does the same thing. See? That's because I'm using the same exact scroll routine. All right, so RxB 2021. What I've done is I've written in a simulated language version of this, and this is simulated language version is much faster, as you can see. I mean, look at how fast it scrolls up. And this is extended TI Basic. See how slow it takes to scroll up? You see a big difference. I posted some uh, stats on this. So, and it looks like I have a syntax error here. What is it? Uh, what did I do wrong? Call scroll up. One, you two. Oh, I put a thing in here. Yeah, I messed up. See that? That shouldn't be there. It should be a comma. So that's my screw up. It should be a comma or it should be a, is that P that you should do? I'm not sure. I'll have to look. Uh, here's the original game right here. This is the original game. So what it was, 990, what was it? 990. So if we go to 990, uh, 990, it says it's print. And there's supposed to be a P there. So how that line should look with RxB 2021. See, scroll up does what a print does. Now, I, I know it takes more space, but you know, not much I can do about that. So we'll put an and there, and we're going to put str shift dollar sign, put the p there, and we have to do another uh, and. Now that line will work fine. So what's going on with scroll here? Well, let's take a look. If you look at this line, it says scroll up one line. That's how many lines to scroll up. This one says two over here. So you scroll up one line, you put this line that you're going to put there on the screen. Well, in this case, this one, 990. All right. And then what you're going to do is you have to make it into a single line. And the reason for that is print uses the colons, colons and, and semicolons in, in regular print. But RxB can't do that because I didn't put them in there. Instead, what I did was you have to use a string to put the string in. Now, I will do numbers. If I do a uh, call, let's see, call, scroll up. And I go like, uh, let's say three, and I say, uh, let's say uh, 22. Or just say pi, like pi. It does that. 
Now you notice right off the bat that a regular TI basic, let's go back here, regular TI basic, if we do this, if we go call, if we go print, if we go pi, oh that's right, pi is not there. <laughs> So let's use a variable. Call scroll up, and we're going to say uh, three, and we're going to say like p, where p was. So as you can see, the see the zero here, because um, oh p was three for that one. Anyway, so. Uh, So as you can see, the, the see the zero is located here, and the zero is over here. RxB loads the entire the entire line is loaded, so it starts from zero. So you have to pad it if you wanted to go over a line over some. So that's the reason why it looks a little bit different. I had to pad the lines here. Nine ninety actually should say, whoops, wrong one. Nine ninety should say two spaces here first. There should be two spaces there. So it puts it the same location as the 28. That, see, 28 characters are used by TI Basic, Extended Basic for print. But RxB uses the entire screen. So anyways, that's the scroll up routine. I have, I have other routines like call, scroll, let's say write. Let's say four, uh, four scrolls. We're going to scroll over four times. And we're going to put up a test. We'll move the test here. And there it goes. It scrolls over four and does that. Uh, I put a comma in there by accident. That's the reason why it crashed. I messed up. I hit uh, redo and fix it. Take out the comma. Yeah, see, it didn't, it didn't crash. Anyways, so that's scroll up. Then we have uh, scroll left. We'll say like uh, eight. And we don't have to put a string in here. We can just leave it the way it was. And we'll scroll to row eight. Then we also have scroll down, so call scroll down. And we'll say, uh, we'll say four. Oops. There it is, four down. So I have scroll up, scroll right, scroll down, and scroll left. But also they're based on another routine called roll. So I can go call roll left, and I can say like 10 times. As you can see, it rotates the entire screen at a time. So if we do like call, uh, scroll, excuse me, roll, let's say right, and we say like uh, 100 times. There it goes. It'll scroll right 100 times. Useful and not useful, depends. Um, then we have like, uh, of course, you know, like we can do like roll up, like call, roll up. And then we'll say like uh, 70 times. And it'll roll the screen up. Or it'll roll it down. We will call. Roll down. And we're gonna say like, well, let's say like 40 times. It'll roll down 40 times. But it starts. What it does, it takes what drops off the screen and puts it on the other side. That's a roll. Scroll doesn't do that. Scroll indicates it'll replace that line like the, like the uh, print does. If you just say print in regular extended basic or TI basic, this is what it does. If you do this in extended basic. It does the same thing. Now, where things get interesting is this: the characters over here on the side, these two characters on both ends, are different for extended basic than they are for TI basic. I don't know if you knew this, but there are they are different. Uh, RxB just uses spaces. So, if you're doing games, you have to deal with the problem with like extended basic, where it puts these goofy characters in the wrong spot. That's why you have to clear the entire screen, make it all spaces. But you don't have to do that over here with RxB, so you don't need to do that. You can just scroll the screen off and it goes away. 
it's because it's all spaces. So it's, it's kind of an advantage. Uh, what other things I got going on here? Oh, well, I already demoed. I didn't think I'd do a, a video demo of this. Call a character. Uh, if I go 1-1, one, one, let's say 55, and 768, right? Well, if you do the same thing here, let's try this. Call h character 1 1 55 768. This is this is React TI basic. Watch this. See how fast that is? Okay, let's go to TI extended basic. Call h character 1 1 55 768. And this is how fast extended basic is. See? A little bit faster. Let's do RxB. Yeah, that's a difference. So this is written in assembly also. So it's gone from GPL, GPL, GPL to assembly. So that's some of the characters. Uh, other routines that I've, I've modified in RxB are like my call H put. My original call H put, if we go over here, you know, call H put, which is, uh, this is like a display app, but it uses the entire screen. So if we say like at uh, 12, 16, and we say uh, test this, you'll see what, uh, what it does, it puts it on the screen. Oh, wait a minute, what did I do wrong here? Oh, I forgot my, well, my screw up. I forgot the uh, bracket, insert bracket. There it is, test this, there's the test this. That's the H put in RxB. There's display at has to be used in extended basic. So extended basic would have to be the display at. And there is nothing like that in TI extend, TI basic. They don't have anything like that. Um, you don't have a display at, it's in extended basic. But in RxB, I speeded it up. So we saw this right here. So let's redo this. Let's redo this. Let's redo it. And let's put this one up. Call H put and go 12, 16. And test this. All right, we'll do this again so you can see how fast it is. There it is. See how fast this one is. It's almost instantaneous. It's in assembly, so it's much quicker. So that's another one. Also, get character, v character. Uh, these are all going to be in assembly. Um, now that I have scroll up, which replaces print or display at or print itself. Uh, I'm slowly replacing all of them with assembly language versions. It's going to take some time, but I'll keep working on it, and uh, I'll just keep banging away at it. Uh, there's a whole bunch of them that I can do. And uh, the idea is eventually to do away with uh, floating point math and go with integer. So you'd have to request floating point to use floating point. Or actually, I'll make it so that you have to, uh, you have to use integer by using some kind of format for integer, like if you're going to say like uh, print uh, regular numbers like pi, it does this, right? But if you want to make it an integer, you have to do this. And it does the three. Okay, so what I could do is I could set it up so that there's a single uh, character in brackets which does this. And I haven't quite figured out what I want to set it up with yet. But I wanted to use the brackets like int does. But it'll probably be a single character instead of three letters. Or, or maybe I'll use something else. I'm not quite sure. But down the line, that's what I'll do. So I just wanted to give you guys a post and show you the video of what I'm up to and why I'm doing it so you guys can see. And it is much faster. Uh, you can see the game was faster and it performed better. It's more like TI Basic. And it's actually faster than Xcode Basic. And I post all the times. So, anyways, that's what I'm doing. And we will talk to you guys later.